Rainbow SysQ is an add-in for Revit 2018, which includes design and detailed fabrication level content for electrical, ductwork, and plumbing and piping it includes hangers. And the content within the application are all real Revit families that are native within the Revit environment. It includes the manufacturers you can go to building-data.net and you can review the manufacturers that are available by simply going and searching for the components. This particular manufacturer has 180 different component items. The application itself uses the detailed content with the API to give us the results of detailed connections and cut lengths for both pipe, duct, and electrical. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce each one of the modules in a very quick way that can give you an overview of Trimble Siskiyou. Siskiyou duct ventilation. You'll notice here we've got tags and we've got a design model. In that design model you'll notice that the VAV box here has 2500 CFM. Well if I come here to this diffuser and I change this diffuser overall CFM has just gone up okay and same thing with if I go to a schedule for example if I go to the terminal schedule here you will notice that 600 if I change that to 750 for example go back to the model Again, you'll notice that at this diffuser, at the um, VAV box, that's actually changing. So the Cisco families are maintaining the flow calculations through the components because they are native Revit family components. So next thing I'd like to show is how we're able to convert an existing design model into a Revit fabricatable model with Siskiyou. So with this specification selected and the ductwork selected, if I come over here and say process all, so now with all the ductwork processed is all, you'll notice that the tags are still in place, which means you don't have to go through and re-tag what the engineer has already supplied and the ductwork is uh, fully fabricatable with the specific manufactured duct lengths on that. And then just to uh, confirm here, if I take a look at the VV box again, under properties, you still have the CFM, it's still applied, and that's still carrying through directly through into fabrication. So some of the things that we're able to do within the Revit environment native with the Revit families as they apply. Now Trimble Siskiyou will take that ductwork and send it directly to fabrication. What I'll do is I will select the ductwork. And it has a filter that selects the ductwork and I hit finish. And there it's processed the straights, the transition, the cap, and then the round with the elbows and all the fittings. And this simply could take that and send it directly to FabShop, and it'll generate the file that I can import directly into FabShop, Vicon, or CamDuct. The other way to draw ductwork is to simply just draw it directly within the model as you would with any other Revit file. So if I come over here and just hit duct, it's asking me for the size just like it would in native Revit. So if I put in 36, twenty-four, eleven feet is fine. I'll just go ahead and route something in here. And you'll see it go ahead and it adds the fittings and the ductwork. If you want to add a transition, you can simply take off from that piece, you know, come over here, add in uh you know, 24 by say 18.
Then we take a look at, say, for example, this uh, transition right here. Let's put it in a 3D isometric view here. Um, this component right here, you'll notice the specification based on SMACNA has a, a TDC by a standing S and drive. That's all based in the specifications that are user defined and that's using in Cisco as we're actually drawing those components. And then we can do things like tap. So if I come up here and say, take off his tap, put in a 12 inch. And I'll go ahead and put a tap directly on that piece of ductwork. And with Trimble Siskiyou piping, we can also take a design model, as you're seeing here, and apply it to a specification that these are all user-definable with real manufacturer's content, where you can take that and apply these systems In this case is carbon steel, weld bend, and if we add things like valves, if I take a valve and place it into the system here, so there you notice that it processes the valve, the bolt and gasket set, the flange, and the weld gap itself. And that's based on, we have up to two and a half inch above is carbon steel, So I do with the take off the tap, go ahead and start at the top of this, might be a little easier. And if I pick the center of that, pick up the size by hitting the space bar, let's go ahead and run out some copper. And this will go ahead and detail out basically a nipple a union and then before it goes directly into um, copper. And in this case, if I add a valve, just a straight solder valve, as you see here, whereas if I take a threaded valve and place that, You'll notice they automatically get the adapters. Now we'll take a look at Trimble Build Materials or BOM in the piping area. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, uh, fire off BOM and do a selection set. I'm going to grab this pipe so get some fittings and valves and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and hit go and it's going to go ahead and, yeah, that's good. So there you'll see that we have full bill materials. So here's my valve, Harrison pricing. And over here, if you're an MCA user, you'll notice the MCA labor for all the components I selected on screen there. So that's a detailed bill of materials you can go ahead and purchase from that. With Trimble Siskiyou spooling, we can go ahead and create assembly spools for instructions for the shop or field to prefabricate the components based on a system layout that you've defined. Uh, the spool templates themselves are usually definable. So if I come over here, select what spool nomenclature I want to use, and I select the components that I'd like to spool, hit create spool. Double click on that. You'll see that uh, my nomenclature is on there. The components, total length of pipe is all defined directly in this pool. And the vis visibility here is all usually definable. You can change that um, uh, to your own liking there. And if I want to dimension this, see that right there. Once 
what's also interesting is once you take this, if you notice that total length of that pipe right there, showing these both of these views here, if I take the valve and move it, you notice that the dimension updates in the spool itself because it's active, it's not an actual assembly that's that's locked up. In a Trimble Siskiyou on electrical, we can draw a conduit. Drawing some two inch here. Give those proper bends with couplings at those specific bend locations. And you'll actually see that right here where we actually have the, the uh, specification for the benders right here. Trimble Siskiyou also includes many other electrical containment, such as basket. So if I go ahead and type in maybe 16 by 4, Let's see the basket, the connectors, and the hangers because we had it, hangers needed as well. Siski Trimble also includes supports. We just saw this basket in the service had hangers needed in and applied it directly. The other way to apply hangers directly to a service is to simply just add a hanger manually where you can just come and pick and it'll automatically place the hanger for us. The uh, final way to do that is to actually use the support application. And what you can do is you can select your duct pipe or electrical based on a specification of hangers with spacing, and it will automatically place the hangers on a specific run. So for example, if I take some pipe here and I route this pipe at six inch. I'll keep it the same relevant elevation we are earlier. Um, select the pipe run. You can go to pipe. You can see what type of Hangers will be applied, again, with the size and the spacing. Place hangers. That's where the specification kicks in and automatically adds the hangers for us. Then once you have the hangers placed in the model, what you can do is simply extract that information to go to the RTS units, the Trimble Total Stations units. We can add the bottom elevation into the parameter of the family so that we can tag that. What type of structure and what level you're working on. Select points. And so here you'll see all the points that were picked up. With the description, what layer they'll end up being on, the point name, and the relevant information all goes out to the RTS unit.